Welcome back. Little did two Australian soccer players realize when they came to the 17th Maccabee Games in 2005, they were about to meet their mates. Well, they did. We present returning Maccabeans, Mr. and Mrs. Beck and Adam Joseph. The story of Adam and Beck Joseph goes beyond a match made in Maccabee heaven. It is also a story that can boast the presence of four generations all at these 19th Maccabee games. So tell me the truth, when you came to the Maccabee games, are you thinking, oh, I'm going to look for a wife? Uh, no, I didn't. I actually had a partner at the time, so uh, I definitely wasn't looking for a wife at the time. Um, the focus is purely football. Okay, so your first game was in 1997 and you were a junior. Yeah, I was 16 years old, so 1997 Maccabee was my first first games. And then you decided to skip a year, a Maccabee, and then you came back in 2005. What made you decide to come back in 2005 even though you decided to sit one out? I was, I was playing for a Jewish team at the time in, in Sydney, Australia, and uh, we had a good bunch of boys and a good coach, so I decided to come back and give it another bash. And uh, how was your, your love life? I met uh, my now wife Rebecca in the last week of the games up in Haifa, so I was very lucky. So how did that come about? You're here for the Maccabee Games, you're excited to compete for your country, it's a world event. How did you, like, were you thinking, like, she must have struck your eye. Tell me the story, I want to hear it. Get close, I want to hear the story, just me and you. <laughs> so yeah, the focus was uh, football. Obviously uh, we got knocked out of the games in 2005 against Mexico. And all I remember was uh, sitting in a nightclub up, up in Haifa and met a blonde girl, which is uh, rare. For, there's not many uh, blondes, Jewish women, and she just caught my eye. She had blonde hair and blue eyes and played football, so I knew straight away that she was the perfect, perfect match. What was your opening line to her? I, would you like a drink? <laughs> it's so long ago. I can't. That works, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what did she say? She said, uh, sure, and we, we kind of just hit it off straight away. We um, became uh, best friends straight away, and we had lunch the next day together and hung out pretty much every day. Good. And does she live near you in Australia? She uh, she does. She lives. Oh, she lived about 20 kilometers away from me, so it's quite close. All right. So what happened in 2009? You both came back. Yeah, we um, were going out at the time, obviously, and we both came back to the games, both playing uh, opens football, and. Um, yeah, I, I proposed to Rebecca on Tel Aviv Beach. <laughs> was she surprised or did she feel it coming on? No, I, I attempted to propose to her twice, uh, those games. Attempted? What happened? I was I just way, way too drunk at the time. <laughs> Don't tell her that, okay. <laughs> no, I, I, the first time I tried to propose was at the Australian pool party. Um, and yeah, it just didn't happen. I was too nervous. And then I tried again up in Haifa and I was too nervous. And third time lucky. I uh, got the nerves to uh, bend down on one knee down at Tel Aviv Beach and pop the question. I saw your photos. Very, very, very sweet when you popped the question. Thank you very much. Okay, so you get married in Australia and you guys are now here as a married couple and you have a son. Yeah, that's right. We, um, we waited a year till we got married, so Bex will be happy but we got, that, I'm, that I'm able to remember this, but we got married on the 24th of October 2010. Um, we had our little one 18 months ago, so obviously we're both here playing football again with our little son. And I heard that he can kick a ball already. Can he do that? Yeah, he's, uh, he's a little genius, so um, he's, he's good at sports and he's uh, academically already a genius. So maybe when he gets a little bit older, do you think he might be interested in competing for juniors in the Maccabee Games? I, I hope so. I hope so. Hopefully he'll play football, so we'll wait and see. And so, so far today, you have how many generations who came to support you both? we we got four generations of the games at the moment. We've got uh, Bex's grandma, who's 94, her mother, obviously Bex and myself, and uh, we've got our little son, Jerry, who's 18 months old. I'm really impressed. I don't know that many um, Maccabean athletes who can say they have four generations all present at these 19th Maccabean Games. Well, Adam, thank you so much. I want to meet your lovely, so we're going to go talk to her for a bit. Okay, thank you very much. First of all, congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. So, um, the story is you met in 2005. That's right. Yep, Adam and I met at um, Maccabea. We're both playing football. And so I heard his story, how he met you. I want to hear yours. Oh no, it's going to be a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> That's the point. I want to hear your version. 
I think it was the second week in. Um, we're both staying at the hotel, obviously, both being Aussies. I think my team's calling me. Um, and yeah, we just met in the hotel lobby and we instantly became best friends and then spent the rest of the week hitting it off. <laughs> well, that's Watching lovely. Each other's games. That's lovely. He mentioned that in Australia you only live 20 minutes apart so that you were actually able to, you know, uh, develop a friendship and relationship. And then what happened in 2009 when you came back to the Maccabea Games? Uh, we both came back for football. Um, we went for dinner one night and then walking back on Tel Aviv Beach, it was during the Games, and Adam asked me to marry him and I was very happy to say yes. And then we came back to the hotel and we got to have some celebrations with our with our teams. I heard that Adam uh, tried to pop the question a number of times and was a little bit nervous. Did you hear that story? Yes, <laughs> I remember that pretty clearly. <laughs> yep. So I have to say, you're one of the very few that can claim that you're four generations present uh, supporting or playing at this current Maccabea team. How does that game, how does that make you feel? I think it's an amazing feat. I think it's fantastic to have uh, an 18 month old and a 94 year old uh, here to support us. Well, I think that a lot of people have been doing some shidduchs here or matchmaking here. So if this is an example, we hope many more athletes come together at the Maccabea Games. And of course, families come together to support. We wish you continued success, both as football players or in America, we call it soccer. And uh, keep us posted on how you do in the rest of the tournament. Thank you. <laughs> so I've got Ruby here which is Beck's grandmother. She's so excited I could barely steal her away for an interview. So tell me, you excited to see your granddaughter? Oh, I came here because of my granddaughter and grandson Son playing soccer. Where did you come and, from? And, and I love Israel. That's the reason. How many times have you been to Israel? Twice. So you came specifically for the Maccabea Games? Before. Long time ago, goodness, Ali. Yeah. And is this your first time in Israel? It's my fourth, my third Maccabea. <laughs> yeah, me too. And you're here just to support your daughter and obviously your son-in-law? We never miss a match. What a great story. A love for the sport that leads to a love for each other with the loving support of family four generations here at the 19th Maccabea Games. I'm Shea Yuval reporting from Jerusalem for JLTV. On the other side, we are keeping it all in the family with some of the youngest Maccabeans stateside this time.